Finney Coo Psychology. Psychology. This is a 10 minute film on quantum physics and energy. We will begin discussing telekinesis and telepathy. The purpose is to explore the human psyche and as referred to as the human mind. What is the difference between the human psyche and the human brain? The human psyche is a part of the central nervous system. It is not considered a part of the human body, but rather a part of the human mind. Therefore, treating the central nervous system with psychology. Now, there are nerves that do attach to the human brain. The human mind is a part of anatomy, physiology, which is the energy in the human body. So, the brain stem and the spine and the nerves are a part of your central nervous system and they are a part of your mind, which is different uh, than your brain. So, there are nerves that attach to your brain. You have the olfactory, and this function is to help smell. Then you have your optic nerve, the second one, and it is your sight. Then you have your oculomotor nerve, and it moves your eye pupil. And then you have your trochlear nerve, which moves your eye. And then you have your trim trigeminal nerve, and it moves your face sensation. And then you have your abducens nerve, which moves your eyes. And then you have your facial nerve, which moves your face in your salivate. Sal sal then you have your vestibulocochlear nerve. Now, this nerve is to balance your hearing. And then you have your glossopharyngeal. And this is for your taste and your swallow. And then you have your vagus, which is your heart rate and your digestive. And then you have your accessory. Accessory nerve moves your head. And then you have your hypoglossal nerve, which moves your tongue. So, your glossal or phyronial is your taste and swallow. And then your hypoglossal is how you move your tongue. These nerves are, again, a part of the central nervous system, and then they are attached to your brain so that your body is able to physically do these things. Now, quantum physics is based on a theory that you can and you are able to physically move things 
and physically hear things and know things without audible support and without any language being used. And so, people have studied telekinesis and we are going to give some quick brief examples of what that could really look like. So, here are practical examples. So we're going to first just kind of give you a brief idea of what uh, the actual dictionary, Cambridge Dictionary calls telepathic. Having or showing the ability to know what is in someone else's mind or to communicate with someone mentally without using words or other physical signals. brought you the stage fight theory, where one finger stands on the stage and says nothing. And we explain how the psyche can then perceive a threat and adrenaline kicks in. So keep that theory in mind. Now, here is telekinesis. Telekinesis is the belief, and this is the, the actual definition that is given, it is the production of motion in objects as by spiritualistic medium without contact or other physical means. So, we're giving examples of Things that happen and these things happen without physical means. So another uh, way to explain quantum physics is psychokinetic. The subject is to attempt by thinking or willing to influence strong dice causing a certain die face to turn up or causing the die to land in a certain area. So, these things people have listed and referred to as telepathy or telepathy. You can direct communications or thoughts or feelings between people's mind without the need to use speech writing or any other normal signals. So this is Colin's definition. Now, going back, we talk about the objectives of Ethiopian psychology, and those object objectives are uh, to understand the difference between the mind and the brain, and that the mind is a part of the central nervous system, which is a part of the human psyche.